this is pretty sweet. For all the Sony fans that have actually gotten PlayStation 5s, which leave a comment down below. I'm excited. How'd you get yours? My name is Mac with the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be looking at the April update for what a lot of people have been looking forward to. Straight off the bat, what I wish will click out there is it's not going to do the m.2 this is not the update they're looking forward to doing that during the summer but what it will do is transfer your playstation 5 discs onto an ssd or a hard drive like a old school memory card basically you can't play it but that's pretty much where the memory is but let's go ahead and slam into the patch notes so we can see what the future update which is going to be coming on the 14th from what sony says on their Twitter, you can see that the major update is going to be arriving. So we're probably maybe around nine Pacific Standard Time, so about four and a half hours, give or take. This probably will be funneling out, if not around midnight or two. Regardless, tomorrow. It's pretty freaking sweet. Because one of the major things that it's going to be doing is trying to join some social elements. As mentioned before, for the storage, you can have that feature where you can move your PlayStation 5 games over. It will update, so you make sure that you'll have a ready copy to transfer over at a lightning fast speed, they say. But besides that situation where you can take advantage of the SSD properly and your ultra awesome PlayStation 5 that's built for like, you know, a cheetah with a jetpack strapped to it, you can see that the extended drive is finally starting to get a little bit more diverse. So if you have hard drives and you want to store all these games and you don't want to waste time downloading, now you can actually have hard drive banks of library games. It is actually not that bad because later on you're going to see that there is a portion where they customize a lot of the cooler stuff that's going to be coming tomorrow. We will also be doing a direct install and uh, update video, so look forward to that. If you're new to the network, definitely I would recommend giving a subscription, hitting that notification bell so you get that when it goes live. For as far as the new social features, as mentioned before, cross-generation share play something i feel like that's been needed playstation 4 and 5 now can shake hands and they can shake controllers in that same transaction you can share the screen through via the share play now in the friendly ui and pass your controllers over to people cooperatively and play the games requests inside of join sessions have been brushed up for as far as what you can do both on playstation 4 and 5 on the gameplay opportunities now the request to join and others will be a shortcut for as far as the invites in which you can see what's going down there now the enhanced control and personalization option on playstation 5 was pretty cool the improved game base as you can see right over there is supposed to be a lot quicker the features easier to switch between parties the chats now have a really cool function as we'll scroll down and see that you can disable it now so say for instance there's something going on and you want to disable because you need to talk to someone or you need to turn down a volume because someone's a little bit louder but someone else cannot hear them so they need them to be louder you can finally have a mixer to do that which is really great or bring them up a little bit independent control i think is something that has been needed for the longest time now the game update pre-download is something very interesting to me uh, for as far as how it's going to work and function as it says inside of the description once it's enabled by the developers the title updates for the games will pre-download to your console if the automatic update setting is enabled and your console is in rest mode, this will start playing the latest version immediately after the update is released. So maybe they're going to park it a few hours right before you'll see it. Something so like if you're sleeping, like like normal updates when they come out. Now they're gonna just gonna kind of roll out, and when you go there, all of a sudden you'll get this notification. Boom! It's live. It automatically downloaded. Very interested to see how that process works. And again, I will be doing an install, and we'll be looking at some of these features later on. For as far as the customization in the game library, now that you can have multiple hard drives worth of games that you can kind of store and move onto your ultra fast ssd on board for the playstation 5 the ability of hiding games for the views easier for the content and personalization inside that gaming library a screen zoom which is pretty interesting that you can magnify inside of the screen for whatever suits you and preferences inside the screen settings now trophies will be getting a nice brush up for as far as the screenshot or video clips that you can customize so now you can choose the capture on video or 
the image for the movements for the higher grade trophies like gold and platinum so you don't end up having too much storage on the physical drive now personally myself i just go with just the thumbnails and if you don't already know this i'll have a video tethered at the very end so you can get a little bit more knowledge to save some space on your internal hard drive and get the best space later on like an external is really nice for balancing right now until we get to summer where we can get an additional hard drive for the ultra fast ssd which is coming they, they mentioned that it wasn't part of this update which was a uh, a bummer but it's almost here for as far as what goes down as we can scroll past the trophies the newer feature with the app which is pretty cool for my raid and the new features in the playstation apps now you're going to be able to take control of the experience remotely have the abilities to save on in a wish list get notifications from friends have more of a controlled status and as the weeks come on they're going to be having more stuff for multiple player sessions and the playstation 5 app management for playstation console storage and like trophies and it's going to be kind of coming to life is basically what they're saying so definitely would be something to stick tuned and download but that's pretty much our update everyone if you're newer to the network you can always join it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe sony will just send me another playstation 5 that i can just give out i don't know you just have to subscribe to find out but I will go ahead and bid you guys and gals adieu. Have a very nice day and stay tuned for the install video. Very curious to see how it looks, what the UI refreshes goes. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.